Doctors at UC San Diego Health are changing a few things to free up more patient care. CBS 8's Regina on talked with UCSD's chief medical officer to find out what those changes mean for you. UC San Diego Health is taking steps to reframe what the new normal will look like for doctors, nurses, and their patients. Officials tell me now is the time to make appointments if you've been putting them aside during the pandemic. For that, like, I'm not going to go in and get those things done right now. I'll just wait. But for checkup, uh, yeah, checkup was delayed for about, I'd say, a half a year as well. This probably sounds familiar, waiting to see a doctor or specialist and putting important checkups on hold. Dr. Christopher Longhurst, chief medical officer for UC San Diego Health, says now is the right time to see your doctor as COVID numbers have flattened and hospitalizations are very low. The lower numbers, it allows us to focus on some other important things in the health system. One of the things that we've discovered is many people delayed seeking care during COVID and unfortunately we're now seeing more cancers at a later stage. Longhurst says with San Diego being past Omicron and heading into warmer months, we need to look at COVID as not being something new and take action when it comes to our health. It's a respiratory virus. We have a lot of circulating respiratory viruses like the flu and RSV and they tend to come in the winter time with the largest peak. If you need to see your doctor, you should go see your doctor. And UCSD just yesterday sent this letter out to its employees sharing they're in the green tier or low tier. Beginning next Monday, the hospital will not test patients when they first arrive and testing will be optional for vaccinated employees. However, tests will still be required for unvaccinated employees. Masks will be optional for employees in non-healthcare settings. By our definitions here at UC San Diego, we're in the low prevalence tier, meaning that there's not very much COVID in the community and that gives us the confidence to roll back some of the precautions that we've had in place even here at the health system. Longhurst says UCSD is tracking COVID through wastewater, which he says predicts a COVID surge one to three weeks in advance. So we're really confident this new system is going to help us be better prepared and take better care of our patients. Hospitals will operate under normal staffing plans in this low category, but leaders are working to figure out the next phase as we enter the endemic approach to COVID.